Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Toledo Batman. I'm Eli, and if you guys love Batman as much as I do, consider subscribing because today is something really cool. We are gonna revisit an old project. Actually, I never actually made a video of me making this. I just made it like two years ago. I just followed Cosplay Chris's channel. He he did uh he did this. He took this and made it into this. But what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna finish it because right here needs to be painted. And I have these from AS Division. All right, so it turns out this guy, he changed his name to Warrior Crafting. It took me about 30 minutes to figure that one out. But I did it for you guys so you don't have to search and boggle your mind like I did running my in circles. But anyway, back to the video. Uh, a guy from all the way from England uh, makes 3D prints these, and so we're gonna Dremel this, paint it up, and it's gonna look super, super cool. It's good. See, look, it's looking cool already. But that's gonna, that's gonna fall out. So we're gonna hot glue that in, and it's gonna look awesome. So yeah, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay guys, well, what we are gonna do first is we are gonna paint these little grappling hooks. Um, yes, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray paint it in some primer, then I'm gonna lightly spray it in some black, and then I'm gonna seal it with uh, matte clear. But before I seal it, I'm going to put some cosplay Chris on it, <laughs> some shoe polish, and uh, give it some detail. So it kind of looks a little like this. As you can see, it's a little grungy, uh, but it's still silver. Oh, silver! Crap in the hat. I forgot. I'm gonna paint it silver. Hold on. <laughs> this is probably the most important part. I'm gonna paint it uh, metallic silver. So it's gonna go this, metallic silver, shoe polish, then a little bit of this, and then that. So that's what's gonna happen right now. So let's go outside and do some spray painting. Woohoo! And remember, wear a mask. All right, so guys, we are starting off the project with some primer. Yes, primed and ready to go, like Optimus Bride. No, I'm totally joking, different franchise. Um, but yeah, this is gonna really help make that metallic spray paint stick to these plastic 3D printed grappling hooks. And so far it's turning out pretty well. Thumbs up for that, oh yeah. Okay guys, uh, we just got done spray painting the primer on the grappling hooks. What we're gonna do now is finish this up. Um, I made this little stand out of some screws, some plywood, and some doll rods. And that's how that works. Boom. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this section right here. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. Woo. All right, this shouldn't take long at all. Try it a little bit. Okay, cool. Take this, and basically... I want to mention here that my brush strokes are going outward from the handle of the grappling launcher. This helped maintain the detail of this particular part of the launcher. Also, I want to mention that once the paint was dry, I went over it with steel wool to bring back some of the silver paint just in the areas that matched the picture in the book. Nice. Noise, look at that, huh? Perfect, okay, now we're gonna let this dry and we are going to go check on the grappling hooks. Closed grappling hooks. I don't know what to call them. Closed grappling hooks, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go check on that and if that's good, then we're gonna move to the next step, which is the metallic finish, ooh gonna give it that shiny look which we're gonna doll down later with some steel wool yeah so that's what's happening there and uh, my boy Ben Affleck is looking mean AF all right 
cool. So the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna spray the metallic spray paint on the grappling hooks. And then I had an amazing idea to put the wood grain in the grappling gun um, handle. I simply just used my <laughs> technique of using steel wool and I think it turned out pretty dang good. It put a wood grain because I was boggling my mind and how am I going to put this wood grain on this handle and the steel wool really came through. I, I think it works. Then once the metallic spray paint was dry on the grappling hooks, I decided to use the steel wool technique on the grappling hooks and this did not work out. It put way too much paint on it and it just looked, it was turning it a completely different color and that's not what I wanted. I wanted to bring out the detail, I wanted to make it rough, um, grungy, and unfortunately steel wool technique did not work. I had to go back respray paint it with some more metallic spray paint then I decided that I would just use the shoe polish to do all the weathering to bring out the detail now it's time to move on to the dremeling step this process took me about 20 minutes to get right even though I messed up I used a mounted stone bit to enlarge the hole to fit the grappling hook I ended up making a mistake and drilling the hole too big, and on top of that, I put a hole in the launcher itself by accident. I ended up fixing it by filling it with hot glue to give it a snug fit so it wouldn't fall out. Oh, and uh, make sure to wear eye protection when dremeling. I didn't for the first five minutes and a piece almost flew into my eye, so wear glasses. Next, I hot glued the grappling hook in place, then used the shoe polish and last touched it up with some more paint. Then it was on to the final step, which was sealing it with a clear coat. And I used a flat paint which dulled it slightly and I believe it turned out really nicely. Now it's not overly shiny. Alright guys, well here it is. Look how awesome this turned out. I am super proud of this. Um, yeah, I could have done a little bit better job on the paint. I mean, the brown doesn't really match this color brown. I could have made it lighter. Uh, there's definitely room for improvement, but I'm pretty proud of it because it was my first attempt at trying something like this, and I think it turned out pretty dang good. I mean, heck, I've been working on this since 2018. Um, so yeah, I, I'm super happy. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section down below. And I think it's gonna go great with my Ben Affleck cosplay. Check out those videos. Um, the next video I'm gonna make is finishing it because I haven't finished the boots. I gotta finish the boots, man. I mean, what a great accessory. I mean, this really makes you feel like you're gonna grapple off to a rooftop or something, you know? But yeah, I'm super happy I got this all done, painted up, and finished. Speaking of, it was super fun to do. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, well guys, I'll see everybody Sunday on our podcast, Superhero Sundays, where we talk about comic books, uh, superhero TV shows, and everything else and beyond. <laughs> uh, that's going to be really fun. Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on my YouTube channel. But, Bat fans, we have come to the end of another exciting video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And, as always, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Bye. Oh, and have a bat-tastic day. <laughs> Bye.